Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. I'm your host, Lincoln, and let's jump right into the captures. This next photo comes from an Aaron M. that lives in Vermont. The email reads, I've got something here that might be right up your alley. I've been a silent watcher of your creepy content for the last few years, and I finally have a reason to reach out. Attached to this email is an image from my trail camera that's given me the heebie-jeebies. I set up this cam deep in the green mountains of Vermont, hoping to catch glimpses of deer, maybe a bear or two, really any wildlife. But this picture has me questioning my own eyes. The camera is motion triggered, but it's in a place that may not have any motion for a day or two and has routinely gone 12 hours plus with never being triggered. This figure showed up, it's just one pick and it's like nothing I've ever seen. It has a humanoid shape, but if you look closely, there are these little horns spiraling out of its head, almost like something straight out of an old world myth or a dark fantasy book. The size is reminiscent of a person, and I guess it could be, but my gut tells me it's something else. I know the photo looks like it's soft and kind of blurry, but you can't miss those horns. And the eyes, something is up with the eyes. They seem to be looking right at the camera like it knows it's being watched. Could it be a person dressed up trying to pull a prank? Of course. But out here, it's miles from anywhere and the locals tend to steer clear of these parts. It's really got me wondering if I'm dealing with the cryptid or maybe a creature we've got no name for yet. I've gone through all my footage over the last year, every frame, and this thing doesn't show up in any other pictures. I may just be scaring myself, but it's like it vanished as quickly as it appeared. I hope you can give your thoughts on it, and I'm eager to hear what you and your viewers think. Keep the spooky clips coming. I don't really know what to say about this. Obviously the horns stick out the most to me, and the eyes, I'm thinking that they're really just two eyes, but they're somehow blurred like that. I mean, it definitely has wide shoulders and it looks like the hands are almost like claw-like. The one thing that gets me is she said that this was in an area that gets no foot traffic, but if that's true, and I'm assuming it is, what's that light in the background? I don't know, it is a creepy picture. It's one of those things, if this was taken on Halloween, not that creepy. If this was taken on just a random day, pretty creepy. The following footage recorded in 2015 at a location in Russia which remains confidential presents a rather unsettling scene. The person who uploaded the video chose not to disclose further details, likely to prevent being located. Initially, the video appears to be a standard forest exploration. However, you can immediately sense a bit of tension. The guy filming proceeds with caution and focuses intently on a particular spot. The reason for this becomes apparent when a creature emerges from its cover, moving away from the explorers. It starts off moving like a gorilla's knuckle walk, but then it quickly shifts to a bipedal gait. I think it starts to move more quickly to not be detected. Now, this behavior seems uncharacteristic of a typical gorilla, and of course that gorillas don't roam the wild in this type of area. Many that have seen the video have speculated that the creature could be more cryptid-like. Possibly a Bigfoot, whether the footage truly captures a cryptid or it's just a misinterpretation, it's still really good footage. Reddit user Gabberflasm has everyone online freaking out over a home security video his mom sent him. It has a strange ghost-like figure in the background that looks like it's walking through the woods. Gabberflasm writes, Check out this crazy clip my mom sent me. It's nuts. My brother was right there and didn't see or hear anything. And we don't have neighbors who'd be wandering around our property. People on Reddit are losing it, throwing around all types of guesses. Some have even said to go dig where the figure vanished and look for clues. Others mentioned a trap door. But Gabberflasm isn't having any of it. 
He's like, absolutely not. I'm staying away from wherever that thing disappeared to. I can't blame him for that. This video's got everyone tossing around ideas from hauntings to ghost soldiers to trick of light to a hoax. But as of now, nobody's got a clue what they just saw on that tape. And without more info or some sort of proof, what happened is anyone's guess. Anyhow, let's start our own discussion. I'd love to know what you guys think this could be. Anytime anyone mentions a dog man or says they've run into one, it gets everyone talking. Stories about the dog man have been around forever, and a lot of people can't seem to get enough. Whenever a video or story pops up claiming to show one of these wild creatures, people go nuts. But of course, there are also plenty of other skeptics who aren't convinced at all. They're looking for solid proof before they'll believe in any cryptids or anything supernatural. Nowadays, with all the high-tech gadgets and slick video editing, it's tough to tell what's real and what's not. Some of these supposed sightings might just be someone in a costume, or a case of mistaken identity, or even a prank. But I'm here for the stories that don't have easy answers, and they keep us guessing and digging for the truth. This next clip is the exact type of clip that creeps me out. Also sent in by a viewer, but this is a reminder to be present and listen to what your children are saying. Check this out. Caught on camera, we see a little girl having a conversation with somebody, but nobody's there. All of the sudden, you can tell that something tries to take that out of her hand. And then moments later, again. Ultimately, the little girl's like, forget this, I'm going back to the living room. Just a crazy video. There is no doubt anacondas are indeed formidable predators, known for their ability to constrict and overpower their prey. While they primarily target smaller animals, instances of larger animals like cows being attacked by anacondas are not uncommon. Anacondas are usually after smaller mammals, birds, and aquatic creatures found in their natural habitat. And normally, if an anaconda encounters an animal larger than itself, it's more likely to retreat rather than risk injury in a confrontation. Anyhow, this is an awesome video of this cow fighting for its life. This next story is insanely creepy. A mom from Pennsylvania, Amanda Pitt, is totally freaked out and can't catch a wink of sleep. Not since she saw something crazy on her home security camera. This all went down at the witching hour, around 3.40 a.m., and now she's thinking they might have to pack up and move. It all kicked off when Amanda woke up to the sound of loud footsteps in her house. She checked her security feed and saw what looked like a ghost just hanging out in her kitchen doorway. Thinking someone broke in, she jumped up and grabbed her husband, Jeffrey. Jeffrey grabbed a weapon and went down there to check it out, but nobody was there. Everything was locked up tight. Nothing was missing, nothing in disarray. But the weird part, their dog, Ollie, who would normally be asleep, was just up pacing the kitchen, all worked up. They checked the camera again and the figure was gone. Amanda was so spooked that she stayed up watching TV for the rest of the night just trying to decompress. She even screenshot a picture of the ghost-like figure from the camera feed. But she could not shake this feeling. She kept checking the cameras, wondering if her mind had been playing tricks on her. Now, this isn't the first weird thing to go down in their house. They've also had other spooky stuff happen, and now it's gotten to the point that they're thinking about moving out. We've had some weird things happen before, Amanda said, mentioning that the folks who lived there before bailed without saying why. The Pitts have been in this house since 2020, and weird stuff has happened since the day they stepped foot in. Her security system sends her false alarms, there are odd noises, doors and cabinets opening by themselves, and once the kitchen faucet even turned on with no one even around. Amanda, who's never been one to believe in ghosts or the paranormal at all, is becoming a bit of a believer. 
And honestly, it's not really just about being scared. It's the not knowing part for me. I'm sure that is eating at them. The family has continued to try to figure out what's going on, but for now, it's all just a big question mark. And they are seriously considering finding a new place to live. Buying into creatures like Bigfoot requires you to have a mix of hard evidence and a good gauge on what you feel in your gut. If you're on the fence, this video might just sway you. Check out this video where we see not just one, but a pair of huge figures strolling through the woods, completely unaware that they're on camera. They're massive and honestly, they look just like Bigfoot. The person who uploaded this is in a hiding spot at their home, and it's not their first time catching these giants on film. The land behind their house is known for Bigfoot sightings, and given their size, the way they walk, and the shaggy fur, it's no wonder cryptid hunters have taken this seriously and flocked to the area. What do you guys think? Like always, I'm interested to hear your perspective. Here's another creepy security video that's been making the rounds online. I found this on Instagram posted by Paranoid Normal. It starts off with the guy being asked to move his bike so a big work truck can get through. He doesn't seem to have a problem with it, moves his bike and then heads back to where he was. Just as he happens to turn around, the sidewalk collapses out of nowhere. Insane. I mean, I can't imagine what that driver felt too. If you look, you can really see him jolt in his seat. Man. Good news is nobody got hurt when it went down and they got a crane and were able to pull the truck out. This next clip is an eerie video from a drone over in Porterville, California. It was December 17th, 2023, late in the afternoon and this drone caught something abnormal up in the air. The guy flying the drone, Alanis, was just getting the hang of his new toy when he noticed this weird black spot dropping out of the sky. He zoomed in with the drone's camera, curious about this strange thing. Well, the video got even weirder. The black orb would have remained unnoticed had it not been picked up on the drone's camera. It seemed to be just doing its own thing. It was stopping midair, then moving again, zigzagging, pulling off moves that didn't make much sense. People who've seen the clip cannot figure it out. Some are just chalking it up to one of those mysterious sightings that nobody can explain. Yeah, but that's no fun. What do we think this could be? Alanis did what he could to keep the camera on this thing, and he did a good job. But regardless, all we have now are a bunch of questions. Like I said, this thing would have never been noticed if it hadn't been picked up by the drone's camera. There's just still so much stuff out there that we don't know about. This latest trail cam footage is wild. It's got something that'll take you way back in time. Bad joke. But no, seriously, there have been a few more of these types of videos popping up. Take a good look at the clip and tell me your thoughts. At first glance, of course, it looks like a dinosaur, but others are saying it's just a kangaroo hopping across the screen. If we watch it one more time, I mean, it doesn't look like a kangaroo. It looks like a dinosaur, but that can't be right. I'm left scratching my head on this one because it looks pretty natural. The guy that filmed it said he was just looking for some regular wildlife shots. Then bam, he gets this, throws it up online, and everyone who's seen it swears it's a dinosaur. But give me some ideas on what this could be if it's not a dinosaur. To me, it doesn't look like a kangaroo, but I don't know. A family was just kicking back and relaxing at their cabin in the woods when their dog perked up and started making a fuss about something in the yard. They went to check it out and were immediately hit with feelings of curiosity, but also nervousness. They found something that left them scratching their heads. Hidden among the trees in the dark were these eyes looking right at them, darting around like whatever it was, it didn't want to be seen. As they retreated, they left wondering what is actually out there. Is it just some critter that owns the night? 
Maybe some coyotes? Or is it something more sinister lurking the woods? I am a sucker for a feel-good story, and this is a good one. Check this out. So a man rescues a deer from this drain, takes it home, it's super young, and nurses it back to health. Eventually tries to reintroduce it to the wild, but I guess he would still feed it so the deer would show up at his back door. Well, I guess in whatever language the deer speak, this little guy spread the word because dozens of deer started showing up at his back door. I mean, look at all of them. They even come into the garage. This is just a crazy story. All right, so we have this super short video that's freaking everyone out online. There's a fisherman and he's bumped into what looks like a swamp screecher straight out of an Indonesian legend. This thing has twigs and swamp branches and moss all over its head, popping out of the murky water. You can only really make out from the torso up. I mean, by the looks of this thing, it does set the scene for something pretty creepy. One brave soul even steps up close to the creature. I don't know, if this is real, this is pretty crazy. Part of me thinks this is all just a big hoax, but it's being touted online as being real. But if it's not some trick, then what is it? A sloth, maybe? This is an amazing camera capture here. You can see a bald eagle swimming in this little lagoon. The cameraman said he swooped in and caught something in the water and is trying to pull it out. As the video continues, a bystander comments that he thinks he might be stuck. Another says it's like he's fighting with something under the water that might be trying to get his meal. Well, we have a winner. There it is. You see the alligator that just popped his head up near the white feathers? Watch this. We see as the eagle is still trying to drag his meal through the water to land. But the gator has turned his sights on the bird. In the original video, you can hear people yelling for the bird, go, 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 let go of whatever you're holding. It seems as if the eagle is going to make it to land, but he's still dragging his prey. As the video cuts off, I'll just say it did not end as we were all hoping. Anyhow, this could be a very good lesson in losing a battle to win a war. This is a very, very cool story here. A few days ago, a woman named Iris was out on a ride and stumbled upon a spot where all the pine needles had been scratched up underneath a pine tree. She says she has seen this before, and it's usually one of two things. Either a flock of wild turkeys scratching for something to eat, or a bobcat or mountain lion has made a kill and covered it up with the pine needles. After a bit of searching, Iris was able to spot a bit of fur sticking out from the big mound in the middle of the needles, and it was a lot bigger than what she's seen before. Upon closer inspection, armed with Bear Mace and her dogs by her side, Iris realized that this was covering an entire elk, not just a deer as she suspected. So whatever the predator, it was big enough to take down an elk. Iris had an idea to set up a trail camera, to see what she could capture, see which animals were coming to feed on the carcass. A few days later, she came to retrieve the footage. It turns out three mountain lions had feasted on the elk, leaving little more than bones and fur. It's amazing how fast they finished that thing off. The camera footage here is really cool. Watch this. Were you guys able to spot the second lion? Keep watching. These lions look young to me. Maybe they're just on the smaller side. I'm not sure. Overall, this is really just great footage and a cool video. 
you can see as the lion pulls the carcass from the pine needles. Obviously, I couldn't fit everything into this clip, but I highly recommend you guys go watch the whole video from Iris's channel. It is awesome. And furthermore, let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this through your time in the woods. Another viewer submission from Candace in New Hampshire. This unsettling image was captured at 3.22 in the morning, deep in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. Locals have dubbed this enigmatic figure the Phantom Hiker, and his eerie backstory is the stuff of legends. The story begins in the small secluded town of Whispering Pines. Life there is peaceful, but as with any remote town, there are whispers of unexplained happenings in the woods. One summer, a local hunter named Jeb set up trail cams to monitor the deer population for the upcoming hunting season. Little did he know that his cameras would capture something far more mysterious. On the fateful night of August 13th, Jeb's trail cam snapped an eerie photo that sent chills down the spine of everyone who saw it. The image depicts a strange, disheveled man standing in the middle of the forest at 3.22 in the morning. His eyes seem dark and dead. His clothes were tattered and weathered. His gaze is fixed directly at the camera as if he's staring into your soul. Local lore has it that this is the ghost of Samuel Harker, a reclusive hermit who vanished without a trace in the late 1800s. His body was never found and the townspeople of Whispering Pines have long believed that his restless spirit still wanders the forest. Some claim that the phantom hiker is an omen of bad luck or even death, while others insist that he's merely a lost soul, seeking his way back to the land of the living. Since Jeb's initial encounter with the phantom hiker, several other locals have reported sightings of this mysterious figure. People have described hearing eerie whispers in the woods, and some have even claimed to see the ghostly figure following them at a distance. So what do you guys think of Candace's photo? Is the phantom hiker a lost spirit doomed to wandering the woods for eternity? Or is there a more sinister explanation behind his ghostly appearances? Let me know your thoughts. Almost everyone would fear for a horse if he was surrounded by a pack of wolves. But in our next clip, you might be surprised at what happens. Footage taken in northern Italy shows that exact scene, but what happens next is perplexing. The horse doesn't run. Instead, he just lays down in the snow, which I think we can all agree is very strange behavior. But what might be even stranger is that of the wolves' behavior. The wolves aren't aggressive. They never mount an attack. An area expert explains that this pack of wolves are very unfamiliar with horses, wild or domestic. On top of that, they actually have no known prey that comes anywhere near the size of this horse. So basically, the pack was uncertain on what to do with the horse. So they just left it alone. Completely uncharted territory for these guys. This is just a really cool video to me. It just goes to show how animals can react in unpredictable ways especially when they're in unfamiliar situations. Great footage here. In 1986, the number four reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, located in the city of Pripyat in the former Soviet Union, suddenly exploded in a routine safety test. This explosion released a massive amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The explosion resulted in a significant loss of life and widespread contamination of the surrounding area and its effects are still being felt today. The area around the plant remains uninhabitable and a large scale cleanup effort is still ongoing. Wildlife was majorly affected and all but the strongest species died. The radiation is responsible for many birth defects and mutations. And if you remember a couple videos ago, I posted a clip of a headless moose running around Chernobyl. There are said to be some very interesting, creepy, peculiar creatures that have come out of this Chernobyl explosion. 
The very interesting channel Encountering Wildlife has acquired a picture of what many are calling a hybrid werewolf. It looks very eerily similar to the dogman that we all know from the cryptid world. It is said that the animal is suffering from intense radiation contamination and is very elusive. This rare picture has been disputed as being fake. But what do you guys think? Naysayers have speculated that if anything, this creature is just a very sick mutant wolf and in no way a type of cryptid. I don't know, it looks pretty creepy to me, but I'll let you be the judge. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. This is something that I've thought about a lot. Read that stat and watch this clip. It's absolutely unbelievable. I knew cats were quick, just like everybody else does, but I thought keen senses had a lot to do with them escaping harm, not so much their physical capabilities. As you can see, the snake gets inches from the cat's face before he strikes. Not only does the cat not get bitten, he didn't just dodge the snake. He weaved and then caught it with the right hook and sent the snake in the other direction. I honestly couldn't be more impressed. Watch this next clip to see another cat in action. As the video starts, you can see the two in question checking each other out. The cameraman slips the video into slow-mo right before the snake strikes. Incredible. Like the cat before, this cat is able to avoid the snake's fangs by centimeters. Let's watch it again. Watch the cat's legs. He just goes straight up. There is no wasted movement. And of course he lands on his feet. The cat was so nonchalant about this whole encounter. Again, cats are just very impressive in this aspect. Our next clip in an unknown location, we see a group of wild horses just grazing the wetland grasses. We also see a massive alligator nearby. Well, the herd leader is sick of this guy just lurking around. Even if the alligator has no chance to catch these horses on dry ground, the beautiful black horse wants him gone. Black Beauty heads over and fires off a few warning stomps. And the gator does a little shuffle to get going. The horse, feeling pretty confident I'd imagine, goes over again to stomp the gator with his hooves. This time, it almost ends in disaster. Look as the gator arches up and bites the horse's front leg. Wow. It is a true testament to the power of both of these animals. It was impressive the horse was able to pull himself away. But I'll say this, if the gator had been able to grab a body part with a little more meat on it, that would have helped him sink his teeth into it, I think it would have been all she wrote for that horse. This next clip caught on a security camera shows the brute strength and power of wild boars. Watch closely at this gate. I mean, the boar went right through that thing. It didn't slow him down at all. I mean, I will say the gate looks kind of flimsy, but that guy just powered right through it. A very sad part for many boars is that the loss of natural habitat due to human expansion is driving them into neighborhoods and other areas where they are more likely to encounter humans. This man was lucky to get away. As you can see here, hikers are trapped on a log after being confronted by a wild boar while on a hike. They got extremely lucky that this tree was here and due to the hooves of the boar, this is about the only place he can't get them. Boars are extremely territorial and will stop at nothing to get you out of their space. And researchers have even said, boars are just grumpy, they're mean. Experts also said that boars may be more irritable because of internal discomfort. They are known to carry many parasites, germs, and infections. Here we see a PO'd boar in a suburban city making a mess of this gas station. I mentioned they were territorial, but this isn't even their territory. So either they're scared, or they really are just mean. 
Nevertheless, be very careful if you ever encounter a wild boar. Here is a video submission taken from a Virginia home that shows some very strange linear lights moving through the night. They seem to be going at a high rate of speed. I was pretty surprised when I got this video because I actually hadn't seen this before. After I did some digging, it's not aliens, it's Starlink, which is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX. It provides satellite internet access coverage to over 53 countries. It is also aiming for global mobile phone service after 2023. There are dozens of videos of this online and it apparently is very common. Anyhow, I am very appreciative of the video and it caught me off guard as well. This is more of a funny video than one to take serious. A lady in a park spotted what she thought was a very frightening and incredible sight. A mutant deer with two heads attached to one body. This video actually went viral. Many, many people believed it to be a two-headed deer. I wasn't at the park that day, but I'm going with this being an optical illusion. It's really cool though. A trail camera in an undisclosed location picked up movement from a very strange animal in the woods. Only one photo was taken and the creature's snout is missing from the picture, which might have been able to help us identify it. In my opinion, the color of the fur is unlike most forest living animals, and if you remove the head from the picture, the fur looks like that of a sheep or maybe even a younger type of animal whose fur hasn't grown in fully. I can't make out what this animal could be, and it's hard to make out the size of it. It looks large, which definitely doesn't fit the description of any animal I'm aware of. If it is a smaller rodent type, then that would be more understandable. Anyhow, interested in what you guys think of this creature? What could it be? Or could it be a fake altogether? It's hard to say these days. A great video taken in Yellowstone National Park shows a majestic black wolf. In Yellowstone, wolves are the symbol of wilderness, a testament to nature's untamed spirit. As we can see, he's feeding on a fresh deer kill, accompanied only by some black crows, for now. The wolf continues to eat, nourishing himself for the days to come. But in the wild, a meal earned is not always a meal enjoyed in peace. Suddenly, two coyotes emerge from the forest shadows. Coyotes are clever opportunists, always looking for a chance to score an easy meal. They begin to inch closer, their eyes locked on the prize. The wolf, aware of the intruders, lets out a low growl, warning them off his kill. What follows is a tense standoff. The coyotes are smaller but have the advantage of numbers. The wolf is larger, stronger, but he's also alone. The coyotes finally make their move, darting in to snatch a bite, but the wolf stands his ground, fending off their advances. He even chases them away. Look how much bigger he is than the coyotes. You can barely see the coyotes over the high grass while the wolf towers over it. The coyotes move back in as the wolf tries to drag the carcass away. Eventually, a third coyote shows up. But despite the odds, our black wolf defends his meal fiercely, reminding the coyotes that, in Yellowstone, every creature must earn its meal. Finally, the coyotes retreat, leaving the wolf to enjoy his hard-earned meal in peace. But out of nowhere, the wolf takes off and runs away as well, leaving the carcass. The original poster said that while they didn't see one, there might have been a bear that had moved into the area for the takeover of the carcass. Another interesting note is that the OP said he and his family have seen a dozen or so wolves on their trip, and this one was by far the largest. Amazing camera capture out of Yellowstone National Park.
This video is pretty crazy. A TikTok user shared a chilling video that captures an unsettling event while he was home alone. The homeowner started filming when he spotted the lights in his bathroom flickering. He calls out and asks who is there. He tells the presence he is not going to harm it. He just wants to know what's going on. Viewers can clearly see a shadowy figure appearing from around the corner. Yet, when the homeowner enters the bathroom to explore, there's no sign of anyone. The figure, known as a shadow person, is a concept that's intrigued paranormal enthusiasts for years. They are typically described as dark, human-like silhouettes that move on their own, often spotted in peripheral vision and disappearing when directly observed. Reports of these shadow figures have come from all over the globe, with theories ranging from ghosts, being from another dimension, to even manifestations of negative energy. So, could this be a legitimate sighting of a shadow figure? The video has certainly sparked interest and unsettled many viewers. However, like most things like this, it's hard to conclusively identify the true nature of this figure. What do you guys think? Is this a real shadow figure? In this video from Ontario Sasquatch, Mike shares some fascinating information about his experiences with the Sasquatch family over the past 10 years. Mike has learned a ton about their unique abilities and characteristics and has had over 100 visits with them. He explains the Sasquatch are like people with different personalities and abilities, feelings. He's given them names and considers them to be very unique and special. Amazingly, he has also been measuring the foot size of a Sasquatch named Neff over the years and has been able to document four different sizes, showing growth from 12 inches to 18 inches as the Sasquatch grew up. During his most recent update, Mike shows an image of Neff's face, which he calls a Sasquatch selfie. The image shows Neff's black, almond-shaped eyes and partial view of his nose and nostrils. He also claims that the Sasquatch family has the ability to manipulate electronics, including his camera, phone, and video camera. Mike is grateful for his ongoing interaction with the Sasquatch family, which has changed his understanding of reality and the existence of the world. This is just a small clip of a larger video. I suggest you go watch the other pieces of this. You can tell Mike is compassionate and caring to the Sasquatch world, and more particularly this Sasquatch family that he's come to know. The natural world can be merciless, especially for the smaller, more vulnerable creatures. In this instance, an unfortunate rabbit became the prey of a relentless pack of coyotes. Despite its best efforts to escape, the rabbit was outpaced by one of the coyotes, who clamped it in its jaws, sealing the rabbit's grim fate. Witnessing such harsh realities of nature is gut-wrenching, particularly when it results in the loss of a seemingly innocent creature. The coyotes need to eat to survive, and this serves as a stark reminder that in the wild, survival of the fittest is the ultimate law. Each animal is just a small piece of a much larger puzzle, and it's crucial to accept that they're merely acting on their survival instincts. Nevertheless, awesome, awesome trail camera footage. Okay, so this next tale has been making my skin crawl since I first laid eyes on it. This eerie tale comes from a viewer living out in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. The kind of place where your closest neighbors are the tall trees and the occasional wandering wildlife. No people around. The 30-something man started noticing strange things happening around his property, like the kind of stuff that makes you question reality. Shed doors left wide open, items mysteriously moved around, and gates that he knew he'd locked, found unlocked. Alarmed, but also curious, he decided to set up a trail cam, hoping to catch the mischievous intruder in action. 
When dawn broke one morning, he eagerly checked his trail camera, and what he found was not your typical raccoon or deer caught in the act. No, what he found was the stuff of nightmares. This first image shows a figure that looks like it walks straight out of a horror film. This creature, if we can even call it that, is unnervingly skinny. Its body's skeletal and its head is just disproportionately large. If that's not crazy enough, here's where things take a turn for the truly bizarre. The second photo shows what appears to be the same creature. Or is it? This figure seems to have breasts. It's got the same rail thin body, the same oversized head, but this is a new detail that throws me for a little loop. So first of all, what are we even looking at here? Is this a skinwalker? Is this one creature perhaps changing shapes before our very eyes? Or are we looking at two separate creatures? Honestly, I can't decide which scenario is more disturbing. As always, I'm eager to hear your thoughts, so let me know. What do you think is going on in these photos? Please drop your theories down in the comments section below. Caught on camera in the middle of the night, this lynx is a real beauty. Known in the woods for being strong and graceful, she strolls through the woods like she owns the place. As it nears the trail cam, you can tell it's curious. It sniffs around the camera, giving us a glimpse of its inquisitive side. The beautiful cat is curious, but cautious, showing itself for the camera, but being careful. Lynx are known for being elusive and very hard to catch on camera. A lot of that is due to the conditions they like to live in, but also its very keen senses keep them on their toes. Anyhow, this footage shows it's easy to see why folks are so fascinated by the lynx. With its killer looks and presence, it's got everyone from nature enthusiasts to photographers completely hooked. From the opening of this video, it's pretty easy to tell the setting and most likely exactly what is happening. That is correct. An African crocodile has snatched the zebra at a local watering hole and the fight is on. The zebra is losing ground. He's fighting hard, but it seems like the end is near. The wildlife biologist and the one filming this, the zebra was about to give up. He laid down. Seemingly out of nowhere, off to the left of the screen, we can see the beginnings of the hippo arrival. As they arrive, the crocodile begins to pull the zebra deeper. But at that moment, the hippos step in and rush to push the zebra closer to land. It's amazing, honestly. The zebra is able to get free from the water and limps out. Only made possible by this group of hippos. The zebra is hurt, but the same photographer said he survived and he was seen a few days later, just walking gingerly. Anyhow, just a great video of animals working together. The Facebook page UFO Discover has once again piqued the curiosity of its followers with a fascinating clip. The video's source is unclear, but it shows a series of unidentified lights in the night sky over Homestead, Florida. The lights initially burst into several streams. After briefly pausing in the sky, a larger light breaks off, creating even more intriguing streams of the light. The new lights then move independently and erratically through the air. While some viewers first thought the phenomenon looked like a meteor burning up, others countered that the light's subsequent movements were too unusual to be a meteor shower. That alone has led many users to suggest the footage is proof of a UFO encounter. What do you all think this could be? A group of friends, teenagers and 20-somethings from Mexico had a very strange encounter with an unidentified creature. And instead of fleeing in fear, they did what most kids would do. They decided to pursue it. However, what they discovered was far from what they had anticipated. Initially, they thought they had hit a dog with their truck. One of the guys said he thought he saw a large poodle colliding with his side of their car before scurrying away. 
So of course the driver pulled over to the side of the road. But upon closer examination, they quickly realized that this creature was most likely not a dog. It didn't move like a dog, but they were willing to look past that because they just hit it with their car. But it was also much larger than a dog. And it really moved the brush and the trees and the undergrowth that it ran into. They were also surprised that the dog never barked or made any noise at all. And also that the dog didn't want their help, which honestly is actually pretty common for dogs that get hurt. They're not always sure that you're there to help them. Anyhow, through the years, this mystery of what this creature could be that collided with their car continues to baffle them. While the identity of the creature remains unknown, one thing is certain. It was not your typical canine. We can only hope that further information about this creature will be revealed in due course. But as for now, let me know what you guys think this could have been. It does kind of look like an overgrown dog that needs a haircut. I don't know of any really other way to put it. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. This is just a heartwarming video. A small monkey has heard the screams of this kitten that is caught in a well in Singapore. He doesn't waste any time as he jumps down in there to try to retrieve the scared kitten. The monkey is trying to figure out a way to get the kitty out, who is surprisingly calm might I add. The monkey's first Our next story features a father and daughter who were out in the woods filming for their popular YouTube channel, named Liana Run. Their videos are traditionally upbeat and happy, but this day was a little different. As they walked through the forest, unaware of the danger lurking in the shadows, they suddenly felt a massive presence following them. The father looked around, but he kept filming his daughter Liana not knowing what was creeping closer and closer to them. Suddenly they saw movement, and it was a massive creature moving in between the trees. It's hard to tell what it was because it was moving quickly. They both were shocked, and immediately they both thought, hey, this could be Bigfoot. The footage they captured was so convincing they couldn't believe it was real. They were both filled with fear, but also thankful the creature didn't attack them. They posted the video on their channel and asked viewers to share their thoughts in the comments section. The video went viral and people all over the world were fascinated by the mysterious creature in the woods. Let me know a couple things. Have you seen this video? What do you think it is? And do we think this could possibly be a publicity stunt? Footage captured by someone that should probably rethink where they hike. They've captured a young, inexperienced bear that has managed to commandeer a boar, which as we all know is not an easy feat. The bear is on his hind legs and propped up on the boar. The cameraman said that it appeared the bear had a good hold of this boar's mane, just holding him in place. Again, no easy feat and a testament to the bear's strength. The boar is absolutely exhausted. This went on for roughly 20 minutes before the bear noticed the onlookers and was startled and runs away. You can see how tired the boar is, he just lays there for a moment. Probably wondering if it's all over. <laughs> 